I'm Liz Brown Swanson and welcome to RPV City Talk on the Road. Today on this gorgeous day, I'm on the back patio of the Point Vicente Interpretive Center. This is the place to be on Saturday, March 1st. It will be the annual Whale of a Day celebration, co-sponsored by the city of RPV and the organization Los Serenos de Point Vicente. It is a place to bring the entire family to celebrate the migrating whales. Whale of a Day is a great day. Um, it's basically a lot of different vendors. You got food vendors, organizations that come in. Um, you'll have our whale watchers, the American Cetacean Society, Cabrillo Marine Aquarium comes down, and that's all organized in the front parking lot. You'll see a kind of circle and tables going around. Half is the organizations, another half is different vendors selling different things you can purchase the day of. On the patio here, we'll have uh, some food vendors going on. One's operated by the Los Serenos de Point Vicente. They'll have hamburgers hot dogs to purchase. We also will have kettle corn. That's always fun and a nice treat to grab. And usually Pinas is here serving different tacos and burritos, fun stuff like that. And then one of the big things is the entertainment for the kids. You know, as a as a family, you love to come out and see your kids just having a great day enjoying the inflatables. It's five dollars for a wristband. They can go on the inflatables all day. It's a lot of fun for them. And we also have face painting in the parking lot, and that's for free. There's all different kind of crafts they're able to make, and that's at no expense. So you just take the shuttle down from City Hall and join us for the good day. We have our museum, which features a lot of exhibits about the Palos Verdes Peninsula. We have a replication of the tide pools and the kelp forest out here. You go through the museum, you'll see some things about the marine land that existed and closed in 1987. So it really goes over the history pretty well, and it's a hidden gem. A lot of people don't know about this place and they come here and they just enjoy it. Hi, my name is Elena Johnson. I'm a docent from the Los Serenos de Point Vicente. We're the docents who are the, here for the museum and we're are waiting for Whale of a Day, which is March 1st. What the docents will be doing besides giving tours inside the museum, they'll also be running some of the other um, activities. Some of those activities are face painting, children's crafts, children's games. Uh, they'll also be running an outreach booth explaining what we who we are and what we do. Uh, there will also be um, docents that will be running a food station, so if you wanted to get lunch here, it's a great opportunity. You don't have to leave the event. Uh, we also have docents who have, um, you'll see that day, we'll, we'll have the uh, Whale of a Day posters. Um, we have a competition every year among the middle school students in Palos Verdes and they're judged and we select one winner who becomes the official poster for Whale of a Day. So you'll see those flyers up. So that's a big event for the docents in conjunction with Whale of a Day. Hi, I'm Alex Swanson. I'm a junior docent at the Pals Borders Interpretive Center. And this Whale of a Day, I'm excited. Not only will I be working here, but it's always fun to come and see all the whales go by. It's a good event and there's a lot of information. It's just really good community gathering. A Whale of a Day, it's a great event. Uh, it's right here at the uh, Point Vicente Interpretive Center. We're on the patio, and uh, there's, uh, there's tents, there's booths, there's activities for kids. You learn all about the whales. You learn all about other uh, sea creatures that are here. There's a, the Interpretive Center is a great museum to learn about uh, California sea life, uh, a little history of marine land if, if you're uh, like an old timer. And uh, some of our volunteers here are very knowledgeable, so they can tell you where to look. So if you look uh, over the coast, you see we have a fence, and the posts all have numbers. So we use that to sort of give you an aid. So if we see something and everybody says, where, where? Oh, look, look over post number five. And that, that's what we use uh, you know, to help the public. We have these special binoculars that have a compass and these little tick marks. So you'll hear us saying, oh, there's a blow at 255 and 15 mil. Basically, that just tells us what direction and, and how, how far below the horizon. That's kind of tech talk that... Uh, that uh, the census people use. We're all volunteers uh, with the American Cetacean Society and uh, right now we are uh, right in the middle of our gray whale census project that's been ongoing since the 1980s and uh, this year has been sort of phenomenal. The numbers that we're seeing at this time compared to last year are like off the chart. Uh, the whales uh, seems to have been uh, coming down sooner we think because um, their feeding grounds in the Bering and Chukchi Seas uh, froze over a little bit early. And so that's why uh, we believe we're seeing them uh, so, you know, sooner. 
And uh, from what I heard, the counts um, in the lagoons in Baja California where they're migrating to, the numbers have been high. So possibly there's, there's more whales uh, you know, out there. So Whale of a Day is pretty much formed to celebrate the migration of the gray whales, which consists of um, just their migration from December to May. So they come down from Alaska, the Bering Sea, and they migrate down to Baja, California, mostly to um, give birth to their babies and then they'll migrate back up. So during uh, Whale of a Day, usually we start seeing more coming back home to go up north. So typically in December, January, February, you see them going down south, but at this point we'll probably start seeing more going northbound with their calves. Whale of a Day is uh, usually uh, a bright sunny day. We've uh, lucked out the last 10 years uh, when it threatens to rain and snow and sleet here. Uh, we have uh, an extra special day. Uh, this year should be very good. Uh, the number of whales that have passed by here at Point Vicente has been a record number for this time of year. There are days that 37 whales pass by, 31, 24, uh, and it's just going to be a fantastic day. On the coast here, we have one of the best places to look at whales. Uh, the way the Point Vicente juts out into the water, it's, uh, it's almost a landmark for those whales. They, they aim right toward it. Right behind us is the Point Vicente Lighthouse. And uh, I, besides uh, doing whale census, I'm also a member of the Coast Guard Auxiliary. And I'm one of the auxiliarists who uh, open up the lighthouse the second Saturday of the month to the public. In March, we're open the first Saturday of the month to coincide with Whale of a Day. So next month, we will be open. And uh, you can come on down and, and uh, be with your uh, 7,000 closest friends because it's going to be a busy day, but it's fun. I just love all the excitement just to see all the people out here. I mean, we have such a beautiful location that it really is like nowhere else. So to see all the families, and when we have whales, some people haven't experienced that before. They see it for the first time, and it's just, it is breathtaking. And so it really means something to them to get to enjoy that. You know, it's kind of like, almost like meditation, just gazing at the water and, you know, and looking for the telltale blow. You know, it, lo it looks like a little puff of cotton on the water. So that's a proper terminology, not the spout, it's the blow. <laughs> And for more information, you can go on the website, whaleofaday.com. Hope to see you here at the celebration, guaranteed to be a whale of a time. That'll do it for this edition of RPV City Talk on the Road. I'm Liz Brown-Swanson. Again, hope to see you right here on March 1st, Saturday at Whale of a Day.